I'm really happy that we gathered here together to celebrate our 10th anniversary of establishing our digital democracy agenda. And I really, really think that we made a very smart move 10 years ago. I mean, at that time, it was really a forward-looking subject. But nowadays, we see that digital is becoming a bigger and much more important of our life. So ECOS is prepared to face the new challenges. So I still remember the first project we actually had in hand called Deep Linking Use in which we were um, testing out different technologies such as our digital platform, uh, our digital dashboard and also um, online participation of citizens to talk about the topic of learning mobility in Europe. We had such fantastic partners, uh, we were all kind of questioning the methods and testing out uh, running these pilots all across Europe. Uh, um, with partners such as Fraser and Simon uh, who are here today with us. So from that small project, let's say, we managed to uh, develop many other projects around uh, crowdsourcing and how crowdsourcing can actually be one of the participatory democracy tools using technology to outreach the citizens and to let them have a say in European decision making. I was really lucky. I turned up to one of these Digital Democracy Days um, and I happened to follow a group of really nice people back to the ECOS offices. And when I was there, there was a discussion about a project that they were conceptualizing. And we recognized that there was, there was the starting, the seeds of a project in that, um, how to scrape social media to understand young people's attitudes in um, youth mobility. But it just so happens that ECHOS had the creativity, um, the ambition and the belief in the idea that they were able to put forward a, a project proposal that was eventually successful. That project was special for me because we engaged so many young people. Young people are the future of our democracy um, and it was a pleasure to talk with them, to understand their concerns and to do something innovative as well. It was a privilege for me to be part of the Deep Linking project, which was coordinated by ICAS. Uh, working for me as a evaluator of the project, uh, this evaluation was important because we tried to get the understanding what were the concrete examples and the results from this uh, project, which was not until then usually that organizations are also trying to get the experience and to reflect what is the impact and the results of a uh, digital democracy uh, project. And I think this is good practice for MICAS, which has now been also followed for the next uh, decade of their digital democracy project. So after these 10 years of lessons learned, I think that we're ready now to approach the next 10 years and we will see the role actually of uh, the European Citizen Action Service uh, in uh, this marriage between democracy and technology. Exciting times because of the fact of how AI is progressing, but we don't have to forget that there are other new technologies that might take away the scene, uh, which are blockchain and the virtual world. Um, we really hope that NGOs will always play a crucial role in digital transformation in Europe together with citizens and alongside policymakers in Europe at the local, at the national and of course at the European Union level. I would like to thank ICAS for bringing the community of e-participation experts on board and also wishing them all the best for the next decade of digital democracy endeavors.